The news you count on. NBC2 News at 6. I buried these memories very deep, but I couldn't keep them buried forever. For the first time, we're hearing from the man who says a priest beat and raped him at a Charlotte County church. The victim says Father Leo Riley started abusing him in kindergarten after he went to the priest to report that the school's music teacher was abusing him. This all happened at St. Charles Borromeo Church and School in the early 2000s, according to the suit. You're watching NBC2. I'm Kelly Burns. And I'm Peter Bush. St. Charles is one of the four churches in southwest Florida where Riley has been a priest. NBC2 Samantha Serban is in Port Charlotte tonight after hearing this man's story, and it is devastating. The four walls of these church are supposed to be a safe place for kids, a place where they can trust the adults. But John Doe says in the early 2000s, he experienced the complete opposite here. My name is John Doe. And back in the early 2000s, John Doe claims he was abused by Father Leo Riley. I never told anybody back then. He said that if I told, he would do to my sister what he was doing to me. Beatings and rape over the course of several years within the walls of St. Charles Borromeo Catholic Church. A civil suit filed in 2020 alleges Riley told John Doe it was all to purify his sins. He was supposed to be a man of God. He was supposed to teach these kids the teachings of Jesus Christ. He was supposed to show them leadership. He was supposed to show them the way, and he did all of the opposite. For roughly 20 years, Doe says he repressed the memories in order to survive. When they started coming back in flashes and nightmares, I knew I needed to do something so that Riley would not hurt anyone else. That's why he's standing before us today, the first victim to go public since 2015, when a man in Iowa made similar accusations. Charlotte County deputies arrested Riley earlier this week on five Iowa-based sexual abuse charges. The 68-year-old attorney vigorously denies any wrongdoing. The more people that say it, in my opinion, the less likely it is that it isn't accurate. The fact that um, the priest has now been arrested tells you that um, the law enforcement has found something substantial um, to look at in these accusations. Melanie Sakota from the Survivors Network of Those Abused by Priests says the first step to healing is to talk about the trauma. Pair that with a desire to prosecute, and that's why John Doe decided to step out in faith today. If you were abused by this man, you are not alone. There is help available to you. If you come forward, there are people that can help. There are services that can be provided, and you don't have to live with this as a cloud over your head. It is a weight that you can take off of your back. Please come forward so that we can rid the community of this threat. This is one of three churches in Charlotte County Riley served at. He also served at another one in Naples. The Diocese of Venice says Riley was removed from active service back in May 2023. We're working to find out why he wasn't suspended after John Doe's allegations came out in 2020. I'm local in Port Charlotte, Samantha Serban, NBC2.